Ever stared at a static image and wished it could just talk? Tell you a story? Maybe even crack a joke? For years, that was pretty much Hollywood fantasy. But what if I told you that AI can now make that happen in minutes, right from your own computer? And not just talk, but express emotion, move, and even generate its own world around it. Today, we're taking a good look at an AI that claims to do just that. But here's the thing, while some of what it does feels like pure magic, some of it, well, let's just say the magic isn't always perfect. All right, let's get into it. The tool we're checking out today is Hydra AI, specifically its multimodal studio and its much talked about Character 3 model. Hedra says it's a next generation content creation platform where you can whip up talking videos, images, and audio all seemingly from scratch. The promise? Lifelike avatars, dynamic scenes, and an easy to use workflow. My mission here is to poke around, push its buttons, and see if this AI magic is the real deal. So, what exactly is Hedra AI? Basically, it's a platform that takes your static images, photos, AI art, drawings, and brings them to life as speaking characters. But it's trying to be more than just a lip sync tool. It calls itself a multimodal studio. This means it's not just about video. It's also about making the images themselves and the audio that goes with them. The big star here is their Character 3 model, which they say can handle image, text, and audio all at once to create animations that feel more connected and expressive. They claim it's got better emotional expression, spot-on lip sync, and even full body motion. Hopping into Hedra Studio, the interface looks pretty clean. You usually see options to create or manage your characters, audio, and video projects. There are clear sections for making images, making videos, and handling audio. If you're new, there's a free plan that gives you a certain number of credits or daily goes, which is great for trying it out before you think about paying for a subscription. The paid plans get you more credits, higher resolution, commercial use rights, and faster creation speeds. My first thought is that it's built to be pretty accessible, even if you're not some animation guru or video editing pro. The main idea seems to be making it easier for anyone to create animated content. This is where the magic is really supposed to kick in, especially with Character 3. So let's try to make a talking video. First up, getting your image ready. You can upload your own, JPEGs, PNGs, or you can use their built-in AI image tools, which can apparently tap into models like Ideogram. I decided to try both, a real photo and an AI-generated character to see how it handles them. They recommend using forward-facing pictures with clear facial features for the best results. Makes sense. Next, the script and audio. You can type your text right in, upload an audio file you already have, or even record your voice on the spot. Hedra supports text-to-speech in different languages and works with voiceover platforms. Some folks mention it uses Eleven Labs for some pretty high-quality voice synthesis. I'm going to try their own text-to-speech first. You can pick from different voices. And for Character 3, you can supposedly give it prompts for emotions and gestures. Now, for the animation itself, once you've got your image and audio locked in, you hit Generate. This is where Character 3 does its thing, syncing up lip movements and facial expressions. They even say it can handle full body motion if the picture allows for it. The creation time for short clips is supposed to be pretty quick, maybe a minute or two. Okay, the first result is in. Using a clear, front-facing AI-generated portrait and simple text-to-speech audio, the lip sync is, wow, surprisingly good. That's definitely one of its strong points. The facial expressions, the blinking, the little head movements, it really adds a touch of naturalism. You know, people always said I had a chip on my shoulder. Maybe they were right, but I wasn't trying to prove anything. Not to them anyway. Just didn't want to live life on repeat like everyone else. Wake up, clock in, clock out, fade away. Nah, 
and the streets of LA taught me more than school ever did. Every sun-soaked block had a story, every palm tree, a silent witness to dreams made and sometimes lost. Looking back, yeah, I was reckless, but I was also alive. I didn't wait for permission. Now for the challenges with Character 3. I tried something a bit trickier, an image with a head that was slightly turned, and I asked for more dynamic emotional delivery using prompts. The lip sync still held up pretty well, but the emotional range, while definitely better than older tech, sometimes feels a little pre-programmed, you know? It's good, but those really subtle, nuanced emotional shifts can be tough for the AI to nail perfectly just from a text prompt. Some days, the world feels loud, even when there's silence. I used to think peace was something you had to find, like a hidden place far away from all the noise. But the truth is, it was always here, in the stillness, in the way the wind brushes through tall grass, in the way light softens when the day begins to fade. I've learned not everything needs to be rushed or solved or explained. Some things are meant to be felt. What about that full body motion? I uploaded an image that showed more of the character's torso and hinted at some body language. Character 3 does try to add some body movement. However, this is where it can get a little unpredictable. Sometimes it's a gentle, appropriate sway. Other times, it can look a bit stiff or slightly disconnected from the head animation, something other users have pointed out too. It feels like full body animation is more of an up and coming feature than a totally polished one. Getting it right might mean playing around with different starting images or how your character is framed. Bangkok at night, it's a blur of color, sound, and motion, like the city's alive and dreaming all at once. Sometimes I feel like I'm moving too fast, or maybe not fast enough. You ever feel that? People think if you look delicate, you must be fragile, but that's not me. I've walked through crowded streets with a quiet mind. I've said no when it would have been easier to say yes. That's strength too, you know? I'm not here to impress anyone. I'm here to become someone I respect. You don't have to be loud to be seen. You just have to be clear about who you are and where you're going. And tonight, I'm just walking my path, light, white, and fully awake. The maximum video length you can generate is often capped at 60 seconds to 4 minutes, depending on the plan. And while it aims for realism, the output resolution might be limited, often around 720p or 540p, not usually 4K for the animated videos. Overall, for talking head videos, Character 3 is impressive, especially that lip sync and the basic facial animations. The magic is definitely strong here. The secrets are really about choosing your images carefully, having clear audio, and keeping your expectations realistic for super nuanced emotions or complex full body movements. It's a really useful tool, but it's not quite ready to replace human actors just yet. Beyond just animating images you already have, Hedra Studio can also generate AI images. This is a pretty cool feature because it means you could potentially create your character and animate it all in the same place. They apparently use various models for this, like Flux, Adiagram, and others. Let's try making an image. The process is probably familiar if you've used other AI image generators. You type in a prompt, maybe pick a style or aspect ratio, and let the AI do its work. You can also choose a reference image if you want. I prompted for a futuristic scientist character, friendly expression, detailed for a video avatar. The results? Pretty good. The quality is right up there with many standalone AI image generators. You can get a good variety of styles. Being able to specify aspect ratios is really important for video. One neat thing is that you can then take this freshly generated image and pop it straight into the Character 3 animation process which is a genuinely handy integration. The final piece for Hedra Studio is audio generation. Like I said earlier, you can upload your own audio or use their text-to-speech, TTS, which often uses tech from providers like Eleven Labs or Cartesia. I tested their built-in TTS with a few different voice options and scripts. 
the quality of the standard voices is generally good, clear, and easy to understand. The premium voices, which you often get on paid plans, sound more natural and have more variety in their tone. Voice cloning is also listed as a feature on paid tiers. Now, let me quickly show you the Hydra Legacy app. You might have heard whispers about a legacy Hydra app, or maybe you even used Hydra in the past. So, what's the deal with the legacy version? And how is the new Hydra AI, Hydra Studio, with Character 3, different? Think of the legacy app as Hydra's earlier generation. Let's call it Hydra Classic. Back then, Hydra had separate tools. One was the Character app for animating faces, and another called Stylize app for image generation, styling. If you had an account and created videos or images a while ago, those projects don't immediately show up in the new interface. But don't freak out. All your previous creations are safe in the Legacy Apps section. To find them, you simply click your profile name in Hydra and you'll see options for Legacy Character App or Legacy Stylize App. Click that and voila! You're basically taken to the old Hydra dashboard. Now, how does the new Hedra Studio compare? In one word, upgraded. The developers took what worked in the legacy apps and supercharged it for content creators today. Is the legacy app still useful or relevant? For new users, I'd say you won't need it. The new Hydra Studio does everything the old one did and more. Stick to the new. That's where all future improvements are happening. The legacy is mostly there to support longtime users and ensure a smooth transition. All right, time to open up the wallet just a bit. Hedra operates on a credit-based system, which at first I found a little confusing, but it actually makes sense once you get it. You purchase a subscription tier, which gives you a certain number of credits per month. Every time you generate content, it spends some credits. How many depends on what you generate? Now, from a budgeting standpoint, here's the breakdown. Free plan, trial mode, as the name suggests, it is free and includes roughly 300 to 400 credits each month. This is enough to test the waters. In my experience, it covers maybe 5 to 10 short video generations or more images. However, the free tier has some limitations. Videos are shorter, recently capped to approximately 20 seconds for free users. And also, there may be a long waiting period. Basic plan priced at $10 per month, or about $8 per month if paid annually. This gives you 1,000 credits per month. Importantly, in basic and above, your content comes with no watermark and you get commercial use rights. Creator plan, at $30 per month, around $24 per month annually for 4,000 credits. This one is for more active creators. If you're a power user churning out content this gives you a lot more headroom. Professional plan at $75 per month, around $60 per month annually for 12,000 credits. This is for serious content machines or small teams. You get everything from lower plans, just more fuel in the tank. Also, higher plans come with faster generation priority and longer video durations. There is also an enterprise plan. So, after playing around with Hedra AI and its Character 3 model, what's the verdict? Based on what I've seen, Hedra AI, especially Character 3 and beyond, is excellent for content creators, marketers, educators, and small businesses who want to quickly and easily make engaging talking avatar videos, simple explainer videos, or social media clips. If your main goal is highly realistic lip sync and facial expressions on a character without a massive learning curve, it's a fantastic tool. However, this also shows us that like any new tech, Hedra still has room to grow. The journey towards truly subtle emotional depth and advanced customization is ongoing. It's a useful tool that does a lot of what it says it will, making AI video creation easier for everyone. It's not an all-powerful sorcerer just yet, but it's definitely a very skilled magician, and one that's clearly learning new tricks all the time. So, what do you think? Drop your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you've created, or what AI tools you think I should check out next. 
And hey, if you found this look useful, give that like button a tap and maybe consider subscribing for more reviews and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.